Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to see if I can now take my um, map application that I've been setting up and get it to actually display a map and I don't hold out a huge amount of faith but if it doesn't work in this tutorial I'll uh, go away and fix it and hopefully we'll get it to work. So. Um, I've, I've got my I've got my application now, and it's uh, it's got the right library project included in it, so it's referencing this library project. And I've registered my debug API key, and now it should just be a question of pasting some stuff in from the tutorial, basically. So I I searched for, as you've seen in the previous tutorials, something like Android V2 Map Tutorial and uh, we get this page and now so we've added the API key to the application and uh, we need to specify some permissions and stuff like that so um, if you don't add this stuff actually um, the debug output is, is pretty good at warning you um, the, the thing where it's easy to go wrong I find is that if you haven't registered the key properly or something like that somehow then it just sort of fails silently but um, all this stuff is usually fairly unproblematic so we, we've added this bit here and uh, we need to add these permissions together with um, the right the right uh, package which, which will be the package name that we specified to the to get the um, to register the API key so let's just copy this and I'll go to Eclipse, which has now decided to stop working. Here we go. Um, maybe not. Okay, uh, maybe it's it's hiding behind my. There we go. Right. So let's go to the manifest here, and uh, I'm going to paste at the same level as this uses SDK here. I'm going to paste in this permission thing. And I need this um, this package here, which in, in in my case is com.caverprogramming.android.maptest, and that's going to match whatever you have in your main activity here. It's this stuff here, this package name, and I'm going to paste that where it says com.example.mapdemo in the stuff that I just pasted in. So let's paste it there. So now we've got com caverprogramming.android.maptest which is my particular package and yours yours should be different dot permission dot maps underscore receive I'll save that and we'll go back to the tutorial and see what else it says so we've got a, another bunch of permissions down here that are to do with um, you perhaps don't necessarily need all of them but I'm going to I definitely recommend copying all of them in the first time you do this because uh it's an achievement getting this stuff working, you know. So let's copy all those, paste all those in. Uh, maybe I can, uh, there we go, get to Eclipse, paste them in here. I'll do Control Shift F to tidy that up a bit. And we've also got to put in um, something that has something to do with uh, OpenGL, if I remember correctly. So I'm having trouble switching between screens. Here we go. So um, yeah, so here we go. Um, so we, we've also got to paste in this thing here, this use this feature thing. And if you don't paste that in, you get actually a nice warning in your debug output. If you, if you, so if you look very carefully through the um, debug output, you'll actually see that it's complaining if that's missing. Let's paste that in. So I go to Eclipse and uh, paste that in there. Control Shift left to format it. And we're almost done. And now we can actually add a map. So I'm going to copy this fragment, this XML fragment here. And that can just be pasted in verbatim, if that's the word I want. So we go to uh, activity main.xml on the layout here. Paste this in. 
So instead of that, I'm just going to delete the stuff that's in it and paste in that fragment there, save it. And then finally, I think we can go to, um, we can paste in this source code in mainactivity.java. I'm not sure actually where, where this is really necessary because it looks like what's already there, but I'm going to copy everything below the um, package name because we, we have to leave the package name and what it already is. So I'm just going to copy the stuff below that and go to Eclipse and go to source and then mainactivity.java. And uh, again, just highlighting everything below the package name, I'll delete it and paste in the code from Google. I've got an error because their XML is called main.xml and mine's activity underscore main. So I'm just going to delete that and just do control space so we can get the right layout here. And I'll probably get some um, error from Eclipse because it does that recently. But then uh, we want to just select the layout that we pasted the fragment into and then save all that. Now just to be on the safe side here, I'm going to go to Project Clean and click OK to clean my project and build it from scratch. And having done that, I'm going to click the Run button. And uh, if you're superstitious and uh, you have anything that you do for good luck, then now's the time to do it. Let's click OK. And um, I've got a screen, uh, what do you call it? not an emulator, a screencast thing here somewhere. If only I could bring it up. Let's try to locate it. Okay, so um, well, I can see that my phone is opened. Let me start the screen screencast. And uh, actually I've been successful, which is great. It's almost like the more times you do this, the more cooperative it gets. And I'm sure it's that this is the third time I've done this now. I'm sure it's that the other times I was missing out crucial steps. But I had to keep, you know, I was repeatedly cleaning my, my um, application in Eclipse, doing a clean build, uninstalling it from my phone, and doing all kinds of stuff to get this to work. And eventually, uh, just when I was virtually thinking of giving up and deciding that um, I was going to have to leave Maps version 2 out of this tutorial, finally it just magically worked. So it's worth persisting, but you, ha you have to get everything right in, in the steps that we've just followed. Every single step has to be correct. And if at the end you get a blank map, um, like a blank gray map, it's almost certainly going to be because your API key is not registered correctly. So it may be that you're deploying the application um, somehow with um, without having rebuilt it fully or something. Make, try uninstalling it on your phone, make sure you've registered the API key with the correct package name and everything in the Google API console thingamajig. Um, and uh, make sure you've done a clean build and uninstall the previous one from your phone if there is a previous one and deploy it. And eventually it usually does work. And people say on the internet that um, if you see that blank Oh yeah, and also make sure your phone's connected to the internet. That's an important one as well, because if it isn't, you probably are going to see like a blank, um, grey application. Okay, so that's that's it for this tutorial. And uh, until next time, happy coding. <laughs>